I love slapping my clothes so much. Howdy hey, today we're gonna be throwing a dozen mugs. In order to prep our clay for the wheel, we gotta cut it into smaller pieces. I know that I want somewhere around 12 pieces, but my pretty little mind is not concerned with making these even. I like a hefty mug, using somewhere around a pound and a half to two pounds of clay. That's more than two pounds. Another way that you can prep clay is by wedging it. The reason that you would wedge it is to kind of wake the clay up. As you wedge the clay by pushing it into itself like this, you kind of wake up the particles and get it squishy again. Another reason that you would wedge clay is if it were recycled clay and you were trying to get some of the air bubbles out of it. When you're throwing on the wheel, air bubbles can push the clay off center, so it's just like, it's not a comfy throwing experience. The reason why I'm smacking these babies around is I want the clay in as round of a shape as possible so that when I get on the wheel, it's easier to center. Because if I try to center this here cube, I'm not going to be pleased. Then I'm going to save this clay for later because I'll probably pull handles from it. Now let's prep our wheel. I got a bucket. Water is gonna be your friend as you're throwing on the wheel, but I like to use warm water. I'm also gonna grab a towel. Oop, that one's locked. What color? I want you. Now we got our water. Then we have to pick up our friend. This is Walter. <laughs> Walter holds all of my tools and we'll talk through them when we get to the wheel. I first learned to throw without a bat on the wheel, so it's kind of like been a learning curve because we didn't really take our pins out in the studio. I like to set up a wear board so that all of my mugs can go in it. Like I said, we're throwing a dozen, so gotta have a place to put them. I mean, I could make this easier on myself and get a bag, but... <laughs> All right, so what tools is Walter holding for us? We have a needle tool. I have like a wooden rib. I have a metal rib. A wee sponge that is extra crusty. <laughs> Then, I forgot these were in here. A mystery tool that we'll use later. That's not this, that's not this kind of video. But, oh yeah, and a wire. So I want my ball of clay as round as possible so that when I smack it on the wheel like this, it's already pretty round. There will be a video solely dedicated to each of the steps of the throwing videos that's coming out soon. I know that a lot of you are going into school pretty soon, so I'm gonna be here for you. Now it's just time to open up the clay. Slow down the wheel a wee bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna check how thick the bottom of the piece is. I'll take a needle tool, dab it here on the bottom, use my index finger and touch the bottom of the clay and pull it out, and that's how thin my bottom is. Just perfect, exactly where I want it. I do my first pull with my index finger and my thumb, but everybody's different. There's a lot of right answers in clay. Then I move into actually pulling up the walls. There was a time in my clay life that I threw those like cylinders that were just straight up and down. Boring. Not to say if you make straight up and down cylinders, your work isn't boring. So how are we gonna make you funky? Yeah, that's funky enough. I like my mugs to have a nice big fat lip on the top. Makes it more comfortable to drink. It makes it more cool to look at. Well, I'm gonna take my rib tool and I'm gonna get as much of the water off of the surface as possible. That kind of like finishes the form, compresses it to make it stronger, but then also makes it dry so that I can pick it up off of the wheel without having to use anything other than my hands. Now I'm gonna take my wooden knife tool and I'm gonna chop off the excess clay on the bottom of this piece so that I don't have to trim later because I hate I hate trimming, but I don't do it unless I absolutely have to. Okay, just take a little bit off of the bottom. Then I take my wire tool and I hold it like this, wrap it around my fingers and push it down on the bat with my thumbs like this. I pull it closer to myself. There's a lot of different ways to take pieces off the wheel. This is just how I do it. And I pick it up and the first one is done. And we're gonna do it again.
folks, now that all 12 mugs are all thrown. Bum, bum, bum. So what will happen next is I'm gonna let them dry out a little bit and as they go into leather hard, I'll kind of like fix up the bottoms and then add handles and then eventually they'll be glazed and fired. I do have examples of what they'll look like when they're done. So this is like a bisqued mug that's been all done up and added a handle. Then the next part of the process is for it to get glazed and then it turns out something like this. This is a soda fired piece and I don't think that all of these will get into a soda fire, but just gives you an idea of like the whole process. Thank you so much for joining me as I threw these mugs. Let me know what kind of questions you want me to answer as we do future videos like this and stay tuned for the process of finishing up these mugs. They'll eventually make it onto my shop, which will be linked in my website. Like and subscribe, cringy as that sounds, it really does help a channel out to be able to reach more people and to have more fun. So, have a great one. Bye.